God just put such a hunger in me just to pray, just to spend time there with him, Tina. I would put the kids down to sleep for a nap, and I would go in my room and spend an hour or two just praying the Holy Spirit. There was a couple in the church, and then, of course, we started going to a full gospel church. And during that revival, my husband got gloriously saved and filled with the Holy Spirit, never went back into a pool hall again. And we started going to that full gospel church, and there was a couple in that church, and this lady was an intercessor. Well, you know, I had never heard of that. I had never seen that as a child growing up in the denomination I was in. I didn't see that. And I started praying with this lady. And you know, the spirit of prayer will get on you. That's to this day, that's why I'm very strong in prayer. The Lord said, the church, our church now, that's what it's built on, it's prayer. And so I begin to pray with her, and I want to tell you, Tina, you talk about glorious and wonderful experiences with Him. I saw God do miracles. Let me say this to you, Tenny, I mean, Tina. I saw my whole family. I would get down on my knees as the children was growing up. Then I had two more, two little girls. But I was, and we, but starting with them, with this couple that where she had such a, a strong interest, we would have prayer meetings. We would have them two or three times a week. We would have it during the day at my house. We would have it on Friday nights at their house. We would have it at, at this girlfriend's house. That's all we wanted to do was pray. And I got such a burden for my mom and my dad. And I had a brother then It was about, I guess Jerry was probably about 13 or 14, and then Ron was about 9 or 10, and my sister was a little, I mean, my sister's about 9 or 10, and the baby boy was younger. And so they had come down to visit me on a weekend, and uh, I told them we was going to this couple's house and uh, just to have a visit. I didn't tell them we was going to have an old-fashioned prayer meeting. When we got there, Tina, and my, my family was backslidden. They were, Mom and him was not in church. And so we went to that prayer meeting. And to this day, I don't understand why Brother Shepherd, he also became an ordained minister himself. And he would have us sit down in a chair. And then everybody would get around and, and pray. Well, he called my daddy up. Daddy sat down in a chair. Now, just remember, Daddy had those three major back surgeries that I told you about earlier. And, uh, but I had been in prayer. And I saw the power of God with my own eyes. I saw the power of God hit my Daddy. It knocked him out of the chair, and he hit the floor on his back. And when he did, he was speaking in a heavenly language. I've never seen my mama shout. My mother and I shouted all over the place. When I came to myself, after that glorious shouting and praising God, what hit my daddy hit us, all my t uh, two brothers and my sisters were with their hands raised, and they were tears pouring down their faces, and God had gloriously filled them with the Holy Spirit. God, in one night, <coughs> saved my whole family and filled them with the Holy Spirit. That youngest brother that was only six or seven years old was the one I was referring to that graduated from Christ for the Nation's Bible College and ordained through them. The oldest brother teaches and ministers in the church where he goes. And my sister had backslidden, but my sister now is going to church with my baby brother out in the Fort Worth area and coming back to the Lord. 